Hello gardening enthusiasts, Sir Chamas here with you. Today I want to talk to you about cherry moya. A lot of you probably don't know what I'm talking about, cherry moya. Cherry moya is one of the most delicious fruits in the whole wide world. You could look it up on Google. And cherry moya is not really easy to grow in our area. I live in Southern California in the LA area because in their native habitat there's a tiny tiny insect which goes from flower to flower and pollinates them. Here we don't have that insect. The problem being the same flower is male and female at different times of the day. Initially when the flower is completely closed it's neither male nor female. As soon as it starts to open up just a little bit it becomes female and then when it's completely open, it becomes male. That is when you have to collect the pollen in a black container like this one. The reason being black is because the pollen is very, very, very tiny and it's white and if you had it in, against any other color, you wouldn't even be able to see it. I have it against black so that you will be able to see the pollen a little bit. If you look inside here, you might see some white specks maybe not they're very very tiny anyway what you do is you find the flower that's open here's one flower I'm going to show you look at this one look at this flower it's just about open it's not completely open but it's just about open this is still going from female it's going to male stage it's a little bit too open to be a female yet it's not completely open to be a male here is one here that I can show you. It's most likely it is a female now because it's completely closed and it's just about trying to open here. See when I do that? Now this is a female. What I would do if this was a male, I would open my little container, I would tap it like this, and the pollen would fall inside here. Maybe in the sun you can see the pollen. Let me see a little bit of sun here. Let me, let me find a little bit of sun, uh, a little bit here, okay here you can see some pollen here, if you can see it, anyway it doesn't matter, what you do is you get a tiny little brush, you collect a little pollen like this, and then what you do is, you go to the flower, and then you open it up, like I did before and you just stick the brush inside just like that and that's it it's done normally what I do is I break off a little bit of this so I know I've done it and that way I don't do it again okay that's cherry moya so it's very hard to pollinate it took me years and years to do but now I'm a master at it let me show you some of the fruits of my hard work here's the cherry moya growing okay that's what it looks like it looks like a large pine cone it's green it has those little ridges in it and you cut it up there's big black seeds but the, you don't eat the seeds but the flesh is the most delicious thing there is here's some more over here a whole bunch of them here look underneath there there's a whole bunch and over there anyway so this is what's called the cherry moya Next time we'll touch on another fruit. What I need to do is uh, mention the income disclaimer. You know, abide by the law, you have to say those things. No two people make the same amount of money on the internet. I can give the same instructions to two people, each one will have a different result. It all depends on you. You work hard, you achieve things, you don't work hard, you never get anywhere, okay? So the money I make is not typical. But then, of course, I'm not a typical person. I do things completely opposite what other people do. I like to do different things. I love to experiment. I, I like to play around and have fun. So that's how I am. That's the person I am. You might be completely different. Okay? That being said, if you really want to join my team, have a great time and enjoy the things that you like to enjoy, click the link below. Take care.